Hey, it's Lizzie, and welcome back to the Game of Girl playing game tutorials. Um, so, we've gotten past the inventory stuff, and I'd like to move on to resources. And that's just going to be this video, because it's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to show you how to pick coconuts off of trees. Um, so, if you haven't already seen the inventory videos, you really should, because that's a big part of this. But, anyways, here we go. Um, so, I've, uh, you know, added dirt to my background, and I'm just gonna, well, what I have is I have these tiles, um, let's see, um, palm trees here, Dif for different landscapes, dirt, sand, grass, and this is going to be a pineapple tree, but these are the empty versions of the trees, and you can have different kinds of fruits on them. But, um, sorry, I'm not giving graphics away. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to add a few of these. And, um, yeah, so those are negative five, so they'll be above the player. Um, I have a coconut tree top. Could be an orange tree top, which doesn't make any sense because oranges don't grow on trees, but this is a video game, so I think I can make some exceptions. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to go into some detail about how you can do resources with one simple object. Um, coconut tree top uh, in this object um, basically it, it's going to work a little bit like how monsters are going to work and we get into battle stuff but anyways, for now um, basically you just set the hit points and max hit points of the tree um, to whatever and set empty to zero as default um, in uh, the draw event um, it has to work like the player because I have to draw a health bar, so you have to actually draw the sprite. So I have if empty equals zero. So in other words, uh, if there are still um, coconuts on the trees, um, it draws the sprite. Um, and because I'm going to probably have tons of resources, I just did sprite index so I won't have to type every individual sprite. It and I can just, you know, uh, set this here. And the mask is also set to uh, coconut tree top because uh, that's important for clicking, which we'll get into in a second here. So then I just draw the health bar. You probably are going to want to play with, play around with the X and Y coordinates. Um, but you know, we already uh, went out here health bars and stuff in uh, player setup, so this pretty much works the same way, um, except there's no image angle setup and all that. Um, okay, so that's, so basically it uh, draws this if there are coconuts on the tree, but if there aren't any, then that just goes away. So how it checks is, uh, sorry, in the left press event, Basically, if you click on this, um, it works kind of like when you pick up a coconut, a coconut or other item off the ground. Um, if it checks if the player is close enough, and it subtracts hit points um, by random three, and so hit points uh, minus equals random three. And uh, if I were to, for example, have a mining skill and a rock, I would, you know, maybe set a item requirement. Um, like I have to have a certain item for uh, um, uh, to in order to mine rocks, and I would uh, subtract hit points based on my mining skill. Maybe I'll get into that in a later video. I don't know. Um, but that's something to think about if you want to associate skills with resources. Um, okay, 
So that covers it for left press. And in the step event, um, if uh, it checks if the hit points are smaller than or equal to zero, and if uh, empty equals zero. In other words, if there are coconuts, if there are still coconuts on the tree, and you have no hit points left, and if the tree has no hit points left, it sets empty to one. In other words, making empty true. So that means there are not supposed to be any coconuts on the tree, and the draw event will kick in, and they will it won't draw anything because empty is not zero. Um, then it executes um, script add item um, item add, and we went over that in uh, the some of the previous videos. Um, and uh, yeah, this uh, this is stands for the coconut item, that's the ID of coconut. And then I just have ra seal random three, so it uh, gives you a, a whole number randomized by three. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I mean, I think it, randomizing can help in this sort of case, because you don't want to get exactly three or exactly one every time, it just kind of gets annoying too precise. Um, anyways, and then set alarm to 1,000. Now, 1,000 may seem like a big number, but, you know, you don't want your player to have unlimited resources every few seconds. This is a uh, fairly long wait. Plus, I've got uh, quite a few coconut trees. Um, so, when the alarm goes off after 1,000 steps, it destroys this instance, the um, object coconut tree top that um, um, we've been working on, and then it creates it again, and all the values are reset, and um, yeah, so let's test that. Okay, um, so uh, currently I don't have a block object, but I would put that at the base of the tree, but right now it's just, player can even walk through the trunk, which is not what we want. So we'd add a block here, and the player could only walk behind the tree like that. Um, but anyways, that's not for this video. So, the trees each have a individual health bar drawn over them. If I click on a tree and I'm close enough, it subtracts uh, a certain amount of hit points to randomize, and that's one. That was the random number it chose. Again, one again, two this time, and uh, yeah, I can do quite a few uh, different. Uh, um, random numbers. Ooh, got three that time. Only one. Hmm. And that reloaded. You see what I mean? I mean, you may even want to add, make your, t the amount of time, uh, in between respawns, uh, longer than I did. And I may even make it longer. Also, one last thing about the inventory, um, there's a little problem with the slot objects in this case. When you just pick up individual coconuts, it only does one, and, the, and it, it works, but um, if you, for example, pick coconuts off a tree and you have uh, nine coconuts in here, it will give you twelve here before it uh, goes to the next slot. So what I did is... Um, well, like in the, the player step event, if uh, 
if uh, um, hit points is smaller than max hit points, it sets the hit points to max hit points so that it doesn't go over the maximum amount. And I did that for the slot. So you add a step event in each of the slot objects. I'm sorry about the inconvenience. If amount is uh, larger than max amount, amount equals max amount. So it can't go over 10 coconuts per slot when you add things from resources. So that fi that's just uh, a way to fix that glitch. And just do that for each of the inventory slots. And again, I'm sorry about that. And that's a pretty cool resource system. And that pretty much covers it. So thanks for watching.